Welcome back, everybody. You're still keeping it locked right here in your Feel Good Breakfast Show on SABC3. We are gearing up for the weekend, and weekend yeah. screams food. Yeah. When we think of staple foods, corn has to be one of the first to come to mind. When we think of staple ingredients in the kitchen, ku definitely is the first that comes to mind as well. Now, we've taken all the quality of ku and crammed it into these delicious and versatile corn fritters with spicy chakalaka. And, of course, mm. G is standing by to make this delicious I fritters. I love corn fritters, but I've never made them before so I thought today would be a good exercise do you know that they cram a million millies into this no they don't um, but it's it's absolutely delicious I love cream style sweet corn love sweet corn and you can imagine yeah I would, I would eat with a spoon so only half of this would get used for the fritters but we're gonna be creating beautiful sweet corn fritters with the base and we're gonna be spicing it up a little bit with some smoked paprika so let's give it a, a try and, and hopefully these will come out all right. So I've got a, a pan on kind of medium heat. Got I'm gonna it. I'm going to pop in a little bit of oil. Let I that start asked the girl up. the silly question. I was like, is, is corn fritters and pap tart the same thing? They're like, no, <laughs> this is fritters, that is pap tart. I'm like, that doesn't answer any <laughs> of my questions. But it's not, guys, if you, if you did want to know, it's not the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to start with my, my wet ingredients first. So we've got two eggs. We've got our sweet corn going in there. Straight as a bat, just going to mix that up. Ooh, and you're going to have to get your hands dirty. No ways, man. You, you no ways. I mean, you could. You could get get really dirty in there. Um, so we've got some baking powder that's going into my flour there as well. And we've got smoked paprika. I'm just going to elevate oh, that. Give it that it's it's going to take it to another another level completely. So mix those through a little bit. Whoops, sorry. Try not to get some on the table. You see, I'm a bit nervous, eh? Are you? Yeah. I like it when you get I don't want to mess it up because <laughs> I know that like the, the team are going to want to eat these. So I want them to be good, man. Absolutely. Okay, Raul's already really standing good. by. I'm sure everyone's got his little by, Tupperware so. ready. To <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop outing Ryle on TV. <laughs> um, well, that is the rule here in studio that you've got to make enough for everybody. Okay. You do. Okay, that's looking pretty good, hey? And your pan mm. is. I can see that it's the heat smoking. is. Okay, definitely we don't want that to get too hot. Too hot. You want to keep that. That's good. Medium. Good kitchen partnering there, man. Well done. Okay. Sous chef Jamie coming through. I I leave all of this Ooh. up to you because okay, I would not to be a hot mess with it. Destroy our kitchen. That colour as well. I oh, know that's the paprika coming through. So this is going to be like lovely. I think it adds kind of a smokiness. And when you're thinking about having this as a side with bourrevos, got to be okay. Now the moment of truth. It? Okay, are you ready? Okay. So obviously you don't want the fritter to stick. Um, Looks about enough, hey? Yes. Can I judge yeah. the size of? You can make it in heart shapes. You can do any little shape with it. Ooh, nice. Use this guy to get it out. Ooh. Look at you. Uh, you'll say you'd, you've done this before. <laughs> it looks... It... Well, it looks rustic, okay? But I just want to get it a bit flatter. Hmm. That's frying up nicely. Obviously, the, the thickness of it is going to dictate how long you need to... Mm to cook it for, but we're, we're making quite robust and a, and a fritters. Tip, <laughs> and a tip from the foodie team as well is let it let it rest there for a bit so you get that, that golden brown before turning it before over. Before flipping it out, okay. Sometimes you're just going to mess it if you're going to... Obviously, you wanted to get a nice golden brown fritter to it. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at you. Hey, this is cool. Is... They're not sticking. They're frying beautifully. Oh, now you think about having this to counterbalance like a nice piece of buri or a nice steak or something like that. So what are you going to be adding to our, <laughs> our mix? <laughs> I'm so glad you do, asked me. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be opening up my tin of chakalaka. Chakalaka is the best side dish um, and it's going to just accompany the fritter mm. so well with the buri that we have going over there. So look how easy that is. My job is simple. I'm the, I'm the person that you invite to Bright and I bring everything in tins because it's so <laughs> convenient. So... And here we go. So it's going to be mild, spicy, and that's what we did over here. We just threw it all over. My mouth is. My, my mouth is right. watering. Okay, don't, don't burn it. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying not to. Oh, yeah, that's looking perfect. pretty good, hey? That that's is looking pretty gorgeous. good. Nice and brown. And I would even turn the heat down just a little bit more. Let's see if we can. Flip it. Oh, they're, they're getting a nice density to them. And. That looks actually... That really actually looks all right. 
<laughs> well I was done, I was very didn't. nervous. Yeah. Uh, I, know, I was <laughs> really nervous about doing this. Well, now I've, I've ticked that box. I've made my first corn fritter, and I'm really impressed with with how these look. And I like the density of them. Just imagine like soaking up that chakalaka and, and then the burras. Oh, it's going to be And then just man. just break it open, and then that corn is still there. Mm -hmm. How amazing is that? It's going to be sweet. It's going to be smoky. It's going to be delicious. Just. I want to live vicariously through you. Have a taste there and tell me what it's like. Okay, no pressure. I'm going to take a bit of everything. So I'm going to take a bit of the corn fritter. Oh, that's perfect. And do the dance. Do the dance in the pants. Yeah. If you don't do a dance, yeah, then is you it know really good? it's not, not winning. That corn, that Chakalaka, that heat, just a perfect amount of heat. Mm. And I can actually taste the paprika in my mouth as well. Really? So that, that I can have smokiness, eh? Smokiness to mm. it. This is perfect. G, I am so proud of you. <laughs> and of course, you can get your hands on this recipe, expressoshow.com. It is uh, sweet corn fritters with chakalaka. Mm. Well done. <laughs> Woohoo! Well done, G.